All right, it is now a little after 7.30 and time to call up the two meter portion of the Rock City net. This net starts every uh, Sunday evening at 7.30 p.m. and goes for one hour. The purpose of this net is to build friendship and dedication between all amateur radio operators. Your net control tonight is KD2 AWT. My name is Andrew and I'm located in Burton. Break. When checking into the net, please give my call sign, unkey your mic, then give your call sign name and location. I'll first take check-ins from any mobile, portable, um, yeah, mobile or portable stations. Please call KD2AWT. One more call for any mobile or portable stations. Please call KD2AWT. All right, now we're going to open it up to everyone. Anyone anywhere is welcome to check in the Rock City Net. Please call KD2 AWT. KD2. KD2 AWT. WB2KAO, Tim and Greece with traffic. Good evening, uh, Andy. Pick up the right microphone here. W-A-2-Z-N-C uh, with traffic. KD-2-A-W-T. This is K-2-W-E-K, Bill, in Ontario, no traffic. KD-2-A-W-T. Please copy KC-2-GTO, Paul and Webster. Uh, KD2 AWT, uh, copy Kilo Golf 2, uh, Delta Whiskey Sierra, Dennis Webster. KD2 AWT, please copy Kilo Delta 2, Charlie Tango Zulu, Webster. KD2 AWT, W2 GT, Doug in Union Springs. K2WT, KC2ERF, Nelson Ogden. KD2AWT, this is Whiskey 2, Tango Foxtrot, Tom and Honey Oi, and I have traffic, Andrew, over. KD2AWT, Charlie 2, Zulu, X-ray, X-ray, Rod, in Fairport. KD2, ADWT. This is KJ7, AV, Tom and Charlie. No traffic. there, the net would like to acknowledge WB2KAO, WA2ZNC, W2W, K2WEK, KC2GTO, KG2DWS, KD2CTZ, W2GT, KC2ERF, W2TF, KC2ZXY, I believe that's correct, and KJ7AV. Are there any corrections? Go, Andrew. Yeah, go ahead. This uh, KC2ZXX. Well, I wrote it down right, but read it wrong. Thank you. Hmm. Wonder why I did that. Okay, K KC2ZXX. Thank you for the correction. All right, with that, we'll go to the top of the list here, up to uh, Timmy. WB2KAO, good evening. Welcome to the net. WB2KAO, uh, good evening, Andy, and uh, everybody else. A very, very good evening. Just a couple of uh, comments. 
Uh, this coming Wednesday is the uh, monthly meeting of the uh, Rochester Amateur Radio Association, and a uh, very uh, nice program, I think, uh, this month. The uh, Rochester DX Association uh, is celebrating its 70th anniversary this year. It was founded uh, June of 1947, and there are some uh, scheduled events to uh, celebrate that throughout the year, but uh, Ed, K2MP, and Chris, K2CS, are going to talk about the history of the RDXA and some of the uh, events that are scheduled uh, to uh, celebrate the uh, 70th anniversary of the Rochester DX Association. Also, uh, as uh, some of you may or may not know, uh, I own uh, the 444-85 repeater uh, in, the, uh, in, the, uh, in the Rochester area. And as of Friday, uh, this past Friday evening, a uh, Motorola MSF 5000 has uh, been installed uh, at the site. It's uh, working very, very well, and I would uh, I would welcome uh, all of you to uh, uh, check it out. Uh, it's also uh, <laughs> linked in via uh, remote base to the uh, 14694 repeater down in the Avon area. Uh, PL tone on that system is 162.2. So there you go. Back to net. KD2AWT, WB2KAO, and everybody have a good week. Over. WB2KAO, KD2AWT. Very good repeater. Glad that's installed, and I'll have to try it out. Looking forward to it. Thank you for that uh, traffic. We'll break with you, Tim. Next on list, WA2ZNC. Good evening, and welcome to the Roxy Net. Good evening, Andrew, and uh, good evening, everybody checking in. Uh, WA2ZNC with uh, uh, started taking down some antennas off my tower as I uh, prepare to uh, prepare to uh, eventually make a move uh, soon. So I have uh, a Cushcraft. Uh, the model is A six two seven zero four three S. Anyway. It's a tri-band beam, uh, uh, three element six meter beam on the on the boom, and uh, also uh, a five element uh, two meters and five element four forty vertical on the same beam, and it requires only two uh, feed lines, one for six and one for two and four forty uh, for sale. And I also have a uh, four element. Uh, I think it's either four or five elements. Uh, two meter beam, uh, which is N uh, N uh, mounted, uh, and that came down also on Monday. Uh, I had to look around and make sure none of my uh, kids were watching. So I uh, and I all the neighbors. I made them promise I I was never on a ladder or in a tower. Uh, WA2ZNC at Juno dot com. Or find me anytime I'm on uh, this frequency here, driving around. Uh, back to you, Andrew. WA2ZNC. Uh, recheck. Go ahead with recheck. WB2KAO with a quick, uh, a quick question for Lenny. Uh, Lenny, uh, Mike is looking for uh, HYP is looking for a Chris Craft. Uh, UHF uh, four pole. Uh, you wouldn't by any chance have one, would you? Uh, uh, negative. Okay, thank you. Just thought I'd ask. Uh, I know you've uh, accumulated a lot of stuff over the years. Back to net. Thank you, Tim. And for the net, I. Um I'm actually working on a project in my shack. I'm trying, going to try and bring UHF in, and uh, I'm going to try and get a pretty substan substantial antenna up this summer season. I'm going to try and get uh, get one of those very high gain VHF UHF dual band verticals, one of the really uh, really big ones, and, and put it up on a chimney mount. And run some LMR 400 up there down through down through the unactive chimney. It's no longer an actively used chimney, and 
cover that up, seal it up, bring it in through the basement and up in the shack into a uh, VHF UHF duplexer, one for each radio. So that's what I'm looking to do. That for some reason that reminded me of that. Um, all right, uh, next on the list we have K2 W traffic. So we'll move on to the next KC2 GTO. Welcome to that and uh, good evening to you. Yeah, very good, Andrew. Good to hear you in there and everyone else. Hope everybody had a good weekend uh, getting all my yard work and uh, outside stuff done so I can play with radios and cars all summer. Hi, hi. Um, Tom, the 706 is working, working good. I'm getting out there. I need to get serious with an antenna. I just threw a piece of wire up, but getting out, I got a few contacts on the Florida CUSO party up on 40. So uh, working real good. Thank you. That's all I got, Andrew. I'll give it back over to you. KC2GTO, back over to KD2AWT. Very good. Um, Joe just messaged me, and looks like he won't be joining us for the net tonight. I guess he's got a pretty substantial amount of lightning in his area, so I'm going to assume that he's unplugged all the antennas. Um, he said uh, to mention that um, breakfast... The next Rock City Net Breakfast is going to be May 6th at uh, 9 a.m. Um, at the Villager in Canandaigua. So for anyone looking to uh, attend, it will be at the uh, Villager in Canandaigua at 9 a.m. on May 6th. Break. All right, um, next on the list, we have KG2DWS. Good evening. Welcome to the net. Good evening, Andrew and the group. Uh, KG2DWS, Dennis and Webster. Uh, not much happening this week. Uh, re rearranged my shack a little bit. Uh, played a little bit on the Florida QSO party. Uh, conditions weren't ideal. Uh, but managed to get down there with 100 watts and i make a few cues. Uh, that's about all I have, Andrew. Uh, uh, back to you, KG2DWS. WR2AHL, repeater. All right, very good, KG2DWS, KD2AWT. Next on the list, we have KD2CTZ. Good evening, welcome to that. Uh, over to you. Don and Lubster here. Just wanted to say hello to everyone, and uh, hopefully everyone had a good week. The weather was beautiful. Played a little bit. QRP was the Florida QSO party. Not a whole lot. And, uh, that's about it. Thank you. Very good. How's um, the weather in Webster right now? I find that right now it's a little overcast, but it's not raining or lightning or Okay, just curious. Yeah, here we've got, I think it's overcast now. The rain might have blown over. It might be raining still, but uh, no lightning here yet either. So, all right, um, thank you. Uh, next on the list, we have um, W2GT. Welcome, Doug. How are you doing tonight? Still haven't had a chance to, still haven't had a chance to launch, uh, try out the launcher, but we're getting there. Probably first time we'll be in rush, going to try and help a friend get an antenna up higher. He's not going to believe it. I, he He's actually pretty much an HF guy only and uh, doesn't have very many very many local um, contacts. So when I told him about it, about uh, an antenna launcher, it was kind of a foreign, uh, unknown thing to him. So I think he's going to be pretty amazed when he sees what those are capable of. Over to you, Doug. W2GT, KD2AWT. Yeah, very good, Andrew. I did um, switch over to a handheld here, but I'm, I trust I'm getting in okay. Got to take the dogs for a walk here. Um, yeah, my, uh, I, I think I sent you a message. Um, if you're, you're used to using the tennis ball launcher, but uh, back off on the pressure. You don't want to go over 20 PSI or so on to start with or, uh, you know, if you, at 60, like you're used to putting in the tennis ball launcher, you'll, uh, you'll put that projectile in orbit. <laughs> um, let's see, yes, 
Yes, uh, I was going to mention the breakfast. Uh, that is this Saturday. That's snuck up on me, and probably I'm not the only one, but uh, this Saturday, this coming Saturday is May 6th, believe it or not. Um, at uh, 9 o'clock at the Villager in Canada. We're looking forward to seeing everybody. I like that venue. They give us a back room and kind of a big square table, and it's uh, more of a group than... Uh, kind of a nice group setting we can kind of hear each other pretty better and then the uh the next saturday saturday the 13th i've got uh pavilion number two uh rented at uh at gannett hill normal gannett hill thing we'll be there early we'll figure out what we can put up for an antenna and just kind of hang out for for at least the first half of the day and probably a little beyond but uh we'll probably uh um have a charcoal grill going there. If somebody wants to throw a hot dog on it or something, you're welcome to, but nothing nothing too formal. Um, that, so that's uh, the next two Saturdays, Saturday the 6th, Saturday the 13th. And uh, other than that, busy weekend, but none of it radio-related, so it doesn't really matter. Um, back to net control, W2GT. Any, any pressure up around 50, 60, it would uh, probably send it into orbit. I'll make sure I don't do that. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely won't be finding that projectile um, at that kind of pressure. But that's good. It's probably a little easier to, uh, to launch those things, especially if you're pumping up with a bike pump. You don't have to spend as long um, pumping course with an air compressor it doesn't really matter which is what I'll probably end up using but um, all right very good uh, we'll break with you W2GT next on the list we have KC2 ERF oh and by the way as we're getting down to Nelson it's reminding me um, radio wave net will be um, um, on the uh, the normal system the normal repeater system the uh, the University of Rochester Medical Hub uh, WR2ROC system um, that uh, the I will be controlling again tonight. Paul has had three conflicts in a row, but that I don't I don't blame. I, he's a busy guy just like me, and I can completely understand he has um, some sort of award ceremony tonight, um, music award ceremony tonight that he'll be attending. So I'm going to take over again tonight, and we're going to be talking about. All the things that go around us that we can't see, that, uh, this, that the human eye is not actually capable of uh, comprehending or even picking up. And that, that could go for many things. Radio waves, um, uh, in, infrared light, uh, all kinds of things that are there but we can't see, um, including some of the, some of the more um, in-depth stuff that, uh, that, uh, that, that is very appropriate for the radio wave net. So anyways, um, with that, for anyone that's interested in that, we will be there at uh, 8.30. Um, next on us, we have uh, Nelson Casey to ERF. Good evening. Welcome to the net. Good evening, Mr. Andrew, and each and every one of uh, the operators out there. Trust and hope everybody's doing well staying dry. Um, over here in Ogden right now, we do, uh, we're do. we having uh, uh, thunder showers and uh, a lot of rumbling. It looks like God is moving some tables up there, or they're having a party, <laughs> but it's sure noisy down here. I can't blame Joe for uh, disconnecting everything. Um, I hope we got a good ground system. That's all I can say. But no, Andrew, everything well. Um, I've been doing a lot of work around the house, a lot of painting, and uh, also uh, at work we got a bunch of uh, granite, granite um, oh, edging, um, and uh, we were able to pick those things up, quite expensive stuff, and that gave me an opportunity to finish uh, oh, uh, my pavers outside, so that was a good, that was a good find. And uh, pretty soon we're going to start doing some antenna work. Um, still looking for a good HF radio. So if anybody out there has got a good HF radio uh, transistorized, uh, please contact kc 2 Uh Thank you so much, and back over to Net Control. All right.
right, very good. Yep. Uh, it's getting darker and darker out here, whether that's the sun going down or the storm, I'm not sure. KC2ERF will break with you next on us. We have W2TF with traffic. Go ahead and uh, good evening to you. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. Didn't know if you caught me with traffic or not, but yeah, it's just starting to cloud up here in Honey Oil. Uh, say hello to the net and everybody. And uh, Nelson, I don't know what you're looking for in HF radio. Uh, I've got a couple of aces. I'm back and forth uh, toying with maybe selling one of them. I, I don't want to. Um, one's a Mark V 1000, the other's a FT 2000D, but they'd be, you know, fairly expensive. Um, you know, either one um, is up in the $1,500 plus range. But they've been all through just um, all the mods, filters in them, and stuff like that. But anyway, um, very good. And Andrew, Andrew, you just missed out. Um, I had a UHF repeater that I was going to give you, then Mike uh, KD2IFF jumped on it. Not much of a thing, but it's just um, uh, a, a freebie, and uh, I was going to give it to you, but I didn't see you at Newark. Anyway, uh, the traffic I have listed um, uh, is uh, just a, uh, I've got a rotor, a nice rotor, it's a uh, high gain 4, ham 4, um, I know it's rebuilt, I'm very confident in this rotor because it, the guy I got it from in a trade uh, wanted to buy it back about a month later. It's a black box rotor. The other piece of traffic I had, if anybody's looking for a good Yagi, I have a, a mint one that I would put up myself, although I have uh, two KLM antennas in line to go up uh, on that tower. But uh, what I do have is a uh, Mosley Pro 57A. It's uh, 10 meters through 20. Covers the work bands on 24 foot boom. It's a um, very uh, high-gain directional Yagi beam, and uh, currently they're selling now for like um, right around $1,600 uh, with shipping. I'll take 450 for this one. It, it was up probably for like two or three months, taken down, stored inside, and then just overwintered, shrink wrapped uh, um, this last winter outside. So it's all together, ready to go. Um, minimal time putting it up, but all the documentation and everything. So anyway, if anybody's interested in that, I can be reached at 585-739-2074. 739-2074. And with that, I'll shoot it back to uh, uh, Net Control. Andrew, uh, go ahead and pick it up. Uh, this is W2TF. W2TF, KD2AWT. Well, just so you know, and this is, this could be um, information for everyone. I will not be at a single hand fest this year. Uh, it's the unfortunate reality, but um, it's just kind of the sacrifice I need to make. Um, I have uh, police academy class all day, every Saturday, up from now until December. So I will not be uh, attending a single hand fest this year. Probably the next one I'll be at will be in the winter. Um, one of those indoor ham fests, but I'm not going to be able to make it for the entire summer season. Recheck, AC2, you get rough. Go ahead. Yeah, Mr. Tom, um, I got the 585-739, didn't get the other four. I'm interested in uh, Yesu 1000. Yeah, Nelson, was that directed at me? Oh, and I did have one other uh, comment for uh, Tim K.O., if he's still listening, W2TF. Yeah, uh, Tim, uh, I just need the last four digits of your cell phone. Uh, I got 585-739. Uh, yeah, Nelson, 2074. And uh, on the Yesu 1000... <laughs> 
I really kind of don't want to sell it. It's just uh, something I've been toying with um, to get the uh, 2000D going. So um, anyway, if you're looking for a bargain, it won't be here, my friend. But uh, anyway, uh, just as a recheck, if Tim K.O. is still listening, I, I just had a question about what uh, Mike HYP was looking for. Uh, go ahead. Nelson, did you copy that? 739-2074, over. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, no problem, I got it. And uh, don't worry, that's a good price. Uh, we should have no problem. Okay, just an FYI, I just came back from uh, the shop down in Tennessee with like 400 plus uh, worth of mods down on it. So, like I say, I'd not real keen on selling it, but if the price was right, I would. So anyway, yeah, just uh, call or text me. I'll probably get back to you tomorrow. This is W2TF Clear. W2TF, KD2AWT, we'll break with you. Um, next on list, we have KD2 or KC2ZXX. Good evening and welcome to the next. Good evening, Andrew, and everybody on the net. Not much here. I'm just uh, keeping an eye on the weather. It seems to be getting a little uh, more overcast as we speak, and I'm um, waiting for some thunder pretty shortly, and uh, at least it feels like it's coming. Or out here in uh, Farrington or Fairport or wherever. Uh, other than that, uh, the other thing I didn't get is Tim's, uh, uh, he's, He's got the new repeater, 444, is it 800? Uh, did he come back to me on that, Tim? Other than that, uh, I have nothing else. Back to you, Andrew. I think Tim might have uh, checked out. Um, not sure of, not sure of the frequency off the top of my head. Um, but uh, if you go, well, that's not helpful. He's probably on his repeater. If somebody could correct, you know, confirm that, that'd be great. Um, but we'll break with you. Thank you for your check-in. And next on the list, we have, well, no, not that. Well, we have a KJ7AV with no traffic. So um, any other stations looking to check in the Rock City Net, please call KD2AWT. Recheck. WT. Okay, there's uh, there's a recheck, and I heard a uh, check-in, so let's go with the recheck, and then we'll take the check. Yeah, Andrew, uh, KT2DWS. Yeah, Tim's repeater is uh, 444.850 with a 110.9 uh, tone. Uh, Roger. Roger that. Thank you very much. Recheck. Go ahead. Uh, for everybody's information, way out here in uh, in uh, on Honeyway Lake, with a uh, vertical, I am copying Timmy's new repeater with no problem here. Great news! I'm gonna have to try it. Uh, all right. Uh, any other check-ins or rechecks, please call KD2AWT. KD2AWT. W2JTF. Jeff in North Chile. KD2AWT. N2AWA. Jeff and Victor. KD2AWT. K2IIS. Figure Lakes National Forest. Portable. That would like to acknowledge W2JTF, November 2, Alpha Whiskey Alpha, and KD2, or K2, is it K2? K2IIF. Are all those correct? KD2AWT, that would be Kilo 2, Romeo 2, India, Sierra Portable. Uh, 
Okay, I got K2, Romeo, India, Sierra, last station. Um, not, not readable, try again. Okay, we acknowledge KC2, JYD, how you doing, Joe? Um, sounds like you're on an HT. Yeah, roger that. Just thought I'd do a quick check-in. Hello, everybody in the net, and hope everybody's doing uh, good. Good weekend. All right, very good. Thanks, Joe. We'll get back to get back down to you at some point. Maybe we'll catch you uh, on the other repeater. I'm not sure. Um, not sure if your radio is capable of it, so we'll have to see. Um, any other check-ins, please call KD2AWT. KD2AWT, Romeo, 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 KA2CGB, Brian, in Fairport. W-R-2-A-H-L, repeater. The net would like to acknowledge KA2CGB. Welcome. Any other stations? All right, we'll go up to the top of the second list. W2JTF, welcome to the Rock State Net. Hey, good evening, Andrew, and uh, everybody out there on the net tonight. Um, well, Andrew, <clears throat> I just did something today I've wanted to do since I was uh, in my 20s. I went whitewater rafting, and man, was that cool. I'm instantly hooked. Now I gotta, now I gotta try a couple more places because man, that was that was a lot of fun down there in Letchworth, man. It was. I'll tell you, you ever get a chance to do that? It is so much fun. And uh, I was a little worried today the way the weather started out, but by the time we got down there, it was 70 and sunny, and uh, well, it was just a perfect day for it. So I had a lot of fun. I, uh, I could take that off my bucket list, I guess. But uh, anyways, Andrew, I'll, uh, I'll send it back over to you, W2JTF. Sounds like you got better weather than uh, I did here in Bergen, so very good. All right, we'll break with you, Jeff. Glad to hit, see, hear you did. Glad to hear you had fun today. Um, we'll break with you, W2JTF. Next on the list, we have uh, November two, uh, Alpha Whiskey Alpha. Good evening. Welcome to the net. This is N2AWA. Thanks. Uh, this is Jeff. Um, yeah, located in Victor. Just heard the first run, rumble of thunder and. Um, uh, not really much to report. I don't know. I'm brain dead tonight. Good weekend. Um, caught up on caught up on the yard work and stuff like that. So we're in good shape. Uh, back to you and to AWA. Yeah, very good. Very very good. Well, we're glad to hear you on tonight. I'm not sure if the if it's raining out still or I, I haven't heard anything too astronomical outside. It's just I think it's just getting dark as the day progresses. So, all right, uh, next on the list, K2 Romeo India Sierra. Welcome. Good evening, everybody. I'm Annette. This is Kilo 2 Romeo India Sierra. My name is Chris. I'm from Endicott, New York. I'm currently up in the Ithaca area, but decided to go. A little out here to try to get into the repeater. I used to be able to get into it from Syracuse when I lived up there. Uh, I figured I'd give a quick check in tonight on Via Portable. I have it sitting on top of my car. Um, well, it's not my car, I'm borrowing a car, so that's why I have no mobile. If I had my mobile, I probably could have done it from closer to Ithaca. So, that I'll head over to Net Control. I really had a good K2 RAS. Back to Net Control. K2 RIS, you're coming in great. Sounds great. Glad to have you in here tonight. Thank you for checking in. We'll break with you next on the list. KC2, JYD, good evening. Welcome to the net.
Any last calls for check-ins or re Let's call KD2AWT. It's WA2GSL. KD2AJT, Louise and Honey Falls. Just for the numbers, it's lightning here. Thanks. Lima, just no traffic, just for your numbers. All right, so that would like to acknowledge uh, WA2 GSL, KD2HAT. No traffic, KC2EQU and uh, KD2IZA, also no traffic. Any others or reach out, please call KD2AWT. K2MTH Mobile, no traffic, Ogden, New York. Kazel. That KD, is that K2MTH? QSL, QSL. Okay, very good, thank you. Um, any other stations, uh, anyone, anywhere, for rechecks or check-ins, please call KD2 AWT. W3OAB, Ogden, New York. Very good. Thank you, John. Is there lightning? Are you getting a pretty good amount of lightning out there? Nothing visible at the moment. Okay, very good. We got you on the list here. W3OAB recognized. Any other stations recheck for checking? For check-ins or rechecks, please call KD2AWT. All right, we'll go to the top of the list. Um, WA2GSL, good evening. Welcome to the next. Uh, good evening, WA2GSL. Ed in Farmington. No traffic. Just uh, just wanted to check in and and uh, sit back and listen. I got not much going on. It's starting to get a little black around here, too, so... I don't know if we're going to get a thunderstorm or not, but if we do, I'll be gone. Okay, very good. I wasn't sure if you were no traffic or not. I thought, couldn't remember, and I didn't mark it down. So very good. Thank you. Uh, we also have KD2HAT who checked in with no traffic. KC2EQU, Justin in uh, North Chile, I believe. Good evening. Welcome to the NAT. All right, thank you, Justin. We'll break with you. Next on the list, we have KD2IZA, no traffic, so we'll move on. Oh, KD, K2MTH, also no traffic, and W3OAB, also no traffic. Any last calls for check-ins or rechecks, please call KD2AWT. KD2AWT? Well, the call was KD2IZQ. To ICQ, this is KD two AWT. Um, yeah, I just uh, you and read it as an A. So thank you for that correction. Uh, any anything else? Uh, rechecks, last minute check-ins. Please call KD two AWT. 
you to 2HYP Portable, and uh, can I have words with Justin over on 76, but after the net? W-R-2-A-H-L, repeater. Yeah, very good, Mike. Um, go uh, go ahead and recheck with him, and uh, and let's see if uh, Justin's still here. KC2EQU. Okay, I'm going to head over there now, and I'll listen for you over there. Uh, nothing more for the net, just uh, just wanted to check in, and thanks a lot. All right, Mike, we're going to have you as, here as the um, last check-in. Um, so very good. Thank you for stopping by. There's something else that I might um, I might have to pick your brain about. Um, it's been sitting in my basement for a few weeks here. I've got a 900 megahertz Quantar. Um, that I've been thinking about putting up on the air, but I just haven't, well, really, it just came down to I haven't had enough, had enough time to mess with it. But uh, uh, I know that you're familiar with those, and you might be, you might have some good insight on on some things. So, uh, all right, uh, well, we're going to uh, close the uh, two-meter portion of the Roxy Net. I will be over on the uh, WR2 ROC system for the radio wave net. I'll be taking over for Paul tonight as he is unable to attend. Um, and we're going to have a good topic tonight about all the things that are going on around us but we can't physically see with our human eyes. Um, I'd like to uh, uh, my this uh, wonderful repeater system. would like to wish all a great week ahead. We'll now turn the Bristol 14511 repeater back to normal op, normal amateur use, and say 73s to everyone. And we look look forward to seeing you on, or hearing you on 3.826 on the 75 meter portion on Wednesday night. 73s everyone, and I look forward to hearing uh, anyone who's interested on the radio wave net. And we will start at 8:30. 8:30. Um, 20, <laughs> uh, 2030, uh, or 8.30, I don't know, for some reason I, I'm thinking, uh, 24-hour time, so. All right, 73, KD2AWT.